Hi folks, this is all the fruit. I'm on the beautiful island of Tenerife. And here in the city of Puerto, the Anglican church has a tiny succulent corner. And here is one bunch of species I haven't identified yet properly. I know I've seen it many times in the Canary Islands. Here in the north of Tenerife, cacti are not that popular. They are not, well, yes, they are everywhere. There is a lot of diversity, but not as much as on the southern side of different islands or in the, on the drier islands. And yeah, but this is still no excuse for me not having identified this thing. Okay, I hoped that the glockets would be more hair-like, but no, they really get into my fingers. So this is a bunch of species, is quite a big and tall one, over three meters tall. Several of them were planted here, and here you can see the the standard method of cacti for like close range dispersal when a when a cactus pet drops off it has a very good chance to develop into a new plant the seeds are basically mostly for long range dispersal okay so then let's try and remove a couple of those okay the fruit are firmly attached I hope that I can just brush them off, but no, I really need to pry them off. Funny, there were a couple, well, actually there was one ripe fruit lying on the ground, so I thought they would just fall off. Okay, one, two, three, now we have three fruit. That should be enough. Let's collect them. One. and three okay so it seems that it seems that I'm shading my stuff okay it seems that all cactus species are, uh, have edible fruit and the genus Opuntia certainly does so here I have three of those fruit with their glockets. What am I gonna do after I put them on the rock? I gonna throw them down from the rock. Well, the easiest way to remove glockets, no, not the easiest, but the simplest way to remove glockets from a, from a cactus fruit is to simply roll it around on the ground. If there is grass, even better, but here there is not much grass. So we roll them around for some time. I wanted to make a whole series about how to process cactus fruit properly, but the common Opuntia ficus indica, which is the most interesting one for processing and eating, somehow it had a bad year here and did not have a lot of fruit. Okay, so let's see. Now I have three of those quite smallish cactus fruit. I removed most of the glockets. After you remove most of the glockets, you can carefully take it in your hand and rub it on some rocks or trees or on the ground or on whatever. By the way, if you work with Opancha fruit, you are gonna get stung. The thing is, if you do it right, you'll get maybe one or two glockets in your skin. If you do it wrong, it might be a couple hundred. Okay, let's open this fruit. Okay, that's very disappointing. The rind takes up basically all the space and the area with the nice edible stuff around the seeds. It's very small. Okay, I butchered the fruit, and not like a butcher, but like a savage. Okay, but I think I exposed enough of the inside now, so that I will get most of the glockets in my fingers and not in my lips. Now let's try it. Hmm. The taste is actually not so bad. It's like a really flavorful Opancha Ficus Indica. There is a lot of Opancha Ficus Indica flavor in here. 
also a nice balance between sweetness and sourness. You can even eat the rind. Mm. It's just a little bit slimy and salty. Well, well, mm. and now I have at least one locket inside my mouth. Well. Mm. <laughs> it's unpleasant. Well, folks, a small and not untasty cactus fruit, but too small, too hard to process. And I think usually where it grows, they will be also bigger and easier cactus fruit. So maybe a survival food, maybe interesting to try it once or twice, but not an interesting cactus fruit for everyday use, especially on an island like Tenerife, where there are several much better cactus fruit growing around. So folks, this was a huge yet unidentified Opuncha species. Stay tuned for a lot more fruit videos from the island of Tenerife. And don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe.